In 1980, Deng Xiaoping opened up a small fishing village to foreign trade in China. Today, that fishing village is home to over 10 million people. Think about that for a moment. The story of Shenzhen is the story of how we have become a planet of cities. This is a story of great growth and even greater inequality. Now, my question for you today is, is this growth sustainable? My research looks at one small piece of that question. So scholars around the world believe that if you can increase a city like Shenzhen's population through smart growth programs, you can reduce its CO2 emissions. So what is smart growth? Smart growth is promoting smaller housing units in compact neighborhoods that are walkable and bikeable, basically Portlandia. I mean, seriously. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, researchers are also finding out that when they work to try and make a city greener through smart growth, they're making it more expensive. And implicitly, in some of our cities, unfortunately, greener has become synonymous with making a neighborhood whiter. This is a problem. My research attempts to quantify the effect of increased population density on housing affordability. So, Imagine you have two cities that are exactly the same in every way imaginable, except one city is twice as dense as the other. My research, drawing on data from across the United States in the 2000 census, suggests that the double density city will have rents between three and 4% higher than in its otherwise parallel town. Housing values will be between four and 7% higher. To be honest, that's much better than I was afraid it was gonna be. But the story here is more important than that. Many cities in our country have actually managed to grow more compactly without becoming gentrified. This is very important. I want to understand why that is. Because the future of this country and this world is going to look a lot more like the left hand of this slide than the right. And what policymakers need to know, which this research can help answer, is how to grow our cities in a way that is both sustainable and socially just. Thank you.